In any civilization, there has to be a way to administer law and justice. If we were all angels, there'd be no need for justice. But we're not all angels. The symbol of justice for thousands of years in the Western world has been the ancient Greek goddess Thetis. Here she stands in her classic Greek dress, blindfolded, weighing facts on her golden scales, one foot on the law book with a serpent around her ankle so that she treads lightly when working on justice. With her sword, she carries out the force of law and the sharpness of reason for which she must evaluate evidence. We all expect justice to always be perfect and fair and come out in our favor, but sometimes it doesn't work that way and her scales tip the other way. In the case of slaves in early America, it seemed to go the wrong way. For them. Volumes 1 through 10 on the road to the abolition of slavery. Volumes 1 and 2, Introduction on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Slavery explained in the words, writing, and songs of contemporary politicians, abolitionists, slaves, pro-slavery advocates, and others. Volume 3, Politics on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery the institution of slavery and how it was written into the U.S. Constitution. Volume 4, Heroes and Heroines on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Liberated from the shackles of slavery, countless slaves made extraordinary contributions to society. Volume 5, Obstacles on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Slavery culturally entrenched and protected by religious, political, and social obstacles. Volume 6, Martyrs on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. People black and white gave their lives in the fight for freedom from slavery. Volume 7, Kidnappers and Justice on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. The law protected slavery, and the scales of justice were in favor of the slave owners. Harriet Beecher Stowe, The Evil of Slavery. Stowe reveals the people and the conditions that inspired her explosive novel about slavery and life in the South. Volume 8, The Legacy of What Slavery Left Behind. War-ravaged people struggle to rebuild their society and come to terms with the repercussion of slavery after the Civil War. Volume 9, Those Dedicated Angels on the Road to the Abolition of Slavery. Recognizing the work of 12 abolitionists whose extraordinary dedication helped to free the enslaved, these are the people who fought for a higher standard of mankind. Volume 10, Coming Soon, Summer 2013. The Beginning of Slavery, Indentured Servants and the Transatlantic Slave Trade. Colonial Plantations Needed Labor, more orphans, loose women, convicts, and Quakers than the old world could send as indentured servants. So the colonists looked to Africa, and the transatlantic slave trade thrived for 450 years. <laughs>